Welcome to Break Into Tech Show with Professor Temi Akinwumi of My IT University, a multi award winning tech CEO, career coach, and mentor. With decades of hands on tech career, will ensure your career dreams come true. Join our extraordinary show today on groundbreaking topic for a successful career. Do you want a $100,000 job as a cybersecurity professional, Scrum Master, Business Analyst Software QA? cloud architect, data analyst, technical recruiter, and more, visit www.myituniversity.com to schedule a call. Come and get inspired to secure a lucrative job. Keep the job and grow on the job. Relax, receive, and see results. We're glad you're here. Share, like, and comment. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Um, my name is Professor Temi. I'm so happy to be here today. And we're going to be doing a lot of great discussion and wonderful discussion today. So thank you so much. I don't know where you're joining us from, but I would really love to know where so I can properly welcome you and also, you know, you know, welcome properly and also, you know, thank you for being here. So thank you so very much. We're going to be talking about uh, breaking into tech and how to avoid layoffs. I hope you can hear me very well. So I want to know where you are joining us from. So let, let me know. Can you share with me? Where are you joining us from? Where are you located? Let me welcome you properly. Thank you so much. And I also encourage you to share this broadcast, share it on your social media platform so that people will know that we are here. We are always here every Wednesday at this time, 11 a.m. Eastern time, to give back to our community and to empower you on how, you know, you can get the job, keep your job, and grow on your job. So that's our mission, and that's what we do every time we come here. So let me know where you're joining us from. Thank you so much. I see people um, leaving comments, so I want to read that. Um, thank you, Ibilaja. Ebilaja, thank you so much. Welcome, Prof. Thank you, Ebilaja. How are you doing today? Ebenezer from Michigan. Thank you, Ebenezer, for being here. Um, Mubolaji, thank you from Nigeria. Wow. Thank you for being here, Mubolaji. And Ebilaja is from Maryland. Very well. Very good. Thank you so much. Let's share with others so that they will know that we are here today. We're discussing this very wonderful and important topic. Very, very important topic today. For many people that have never met me before, or many people that, you know, maybe just want to reintroduce myself, I've been in tech for three decades, and I'm a multi award winning tech CEO. Um, been training, mentoring now for the past 18 years now. This year will make it to be 18 years, you know, that um, I've been mentoring, you know. So it's going to 18 years this year, and I'm so grateful that um, I've been able to impart a lot of lives to God's glory. Um, I started off way early in tech. After high school, I went straight for tech school, you know, like pretty much time my associate in, in, um, in, in tech, in computer science, after which I went for my um, bachelor's in computer science from University of um, District of Columbia in Washington, D.C. And then I, after that, I started working for a big tech company. I also went for my master's in cybersecurity and master in software engineering. So I've been doing tech for a very long time. You know, been fortunate for, to work for a lot of 4,500 companies, a lot of them, and also being able to um, have the hands-on experience in tech also an adjunct professor at some universities. So I'm very hands-on in tech, both in, um, in, the, in the industry and in, in, in the institution. So I'm able to see what are the missing factors? What are the things that are missing on both ends? And I'm able to provide that. So I'm glad that I'm able to, to give back and to provide. So, and it's gonna be very interactive. So if you have any question at all, 
feel free to answer them. I see more people joining us, so I just want to welcome them just before I continue. I see Joke. Thank you, Joke, for being here from Maryland. Joke, thank you. Thank you, awesome, and you. Very good. I'm good, uh, Ibilaja. Tony, Tony joining us from Carol Carolina. Thank you, Tony, for being here. Uh, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. I appreciate it. And linking users from Houston, Texas. Thank you, linking user. Let's all share this with others so they can see and they can know because this is very important. We know these days people are so confused. You know, like there's so much layoffs, what is going on, and all of that uh, in tech. And they'll be saying, oh, there's layoff. Some tech company are hiring, some tech company are laying off. So, what is going on? Are we safe? Okay, so I want to break all those things down for you today. And I want to show you what area you should focus on and how do you avoid layoffs? What are the things you will do to avoid layoffs? So, that's what I just did. I did into so now we're going to be still looking at a couple of factors that will help you avoid layoffs. <clears throat> the first thing that you want to do. If you're already in tech, you already enter. I'm gonna be treating both sides. Maybe you already enter, you're already in tech. What do you do? If you're already trying to get it, what do you do? So I'm gonna look at both sides. Because you are only lay off when you're already in the job. We don't have a job, you can't we can't lay you off. So if you're already in the job, the first thing you have to do is to stay current with the new technology and skills. I hope you guys can hear me. Can you guys hear me very well? Because I can't hear on the other end. Can you guys hear me very well? Is it flowing? Can you hear me? Is it? Guys, can you all hear me? Let me make sure. If you can hear me, give me a yes, please. Yes, 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 if you can hear me. Let me make sure you can hear me. Give me a yes if you can hear me. So let me know, guys. Let me know if you can hear me. So stay current with your new technology and skills. Some of you have good skills, great skills, soft skills. Okay, very good. They said they can hear me. Very good. Thank you. So stay current <clears throat> with new technologies and skills and be valuable asset to the company. If you're already in the company, you have to stay up to date. It's not that when you get, get a job in tech, then you come, go there, you now become the share man and the share lady. You relax and you don't even worry about your own self and how to make your skills better no you have to continue to make yourself better so you have to be what stay current with new technology and skills so telling you that tech is a forever you need to constantly upgrade yourself you need to constantly get better stay current with the new technology and skills for example if you're into if you're into cyber security, like I always use that example and also Scrum and other crony training programs that we provide. If you're into cyber security and you're getting with GRC, you know, at least you should be familiar with maybe whatever framework you are using, but there's other frameworks too that are might be coming out, or new tools that might be coming out, or new vulnerability management tools that might be coming out. You need to be familiar with those things, right? If you're into Scrum. You, even though you're getting a Scrum Master, there are new technologies that are coming out, new tools that are coming out. You know Jira, you know uh, Miro. You, you might have to know, you know, some other things like SharePoint, Monday, and all of that. So it's good to always be current so that you're on top of your game. Hmm? And the same thing if you're trying to get in. You want to show that, okay, I'm getting in, I have these skills. These are the newest skills in this area, and I already know, I have an idea. So staying current within technology make you a valuable asset to the company. So you don't play with your skills. You enhance it at all time. Very, very, very important. Stay current. That makes you not be there. Because guess what? All these people that are laying people off, they are laying people off, the most people they are laying off are the people without skills. Those companies that are laying off, tell me, are people not still working there? Yeah, people are still working there. So they leave people that they believe are valuable to them. Because if you work in an organization, you want to be, you are an asset and you want to be a valuable asset. So that is why you need to upgrade yourself, reskill 
retool every single time you go make sure you're on top of the game. Okay, so that's very important. The next other thing you have to look for is how to network with colleagues and industrial industry professional. You want to build a strong relationship with company and industry. You want to start having like networking in that organization. Let me tell you something. Working in tech, even though we don't want to say it's about who you know, right? But sometimes it's like that. It's only when you're already in, you still want to build a relationship. You don't want to burn bridges. You want to have a good relationship. Because for example, if your boss wants to lay somebody off, and you have a good relationship with that boss, the boss will still want to keep you in a way. I'm telling you the truth. You might be thinking, why? Oh, well, that's the reality of life in most cases. They cannot try to keep people that they like, and then they find people that they don't really want to work with anyway. So those people are the first people to go. And uh, people that don't have skills, people that they don't really have network relationship with, you know, they are the first to go. And they keep the other one that they can easily work with and they can resolve. It's when, when company is going through a situation and they're trying to fix it, maybe financial or whatever, they keep people that can work with them so that they can easily flexible, work with them wherever they can easily tweak, work together. Those are the people that they will keep because they know they can understand, they can work with them. So network with your colleagues and industry professional is very important. And also, even if you get fired or get laid off or whatever, people in the organization can easily find something for you if you are very connected with them hmm? to move you to an, another branch or another location or whatever. So you always want to have these skills of how to network with others, how to you know, have a lot of connection with people in the industry. When you get in, start networking with people. Let them know you. Let them know your value. You know, have the strong relationship with them. It's always very good. Okay. You know, everything is remote now. You know, but how do you build relationship when you are remote? But sometimes they should, they have happy hours. You should have happy hour where you have to go maybe in the evenings on Fridays and stuff. But now what hangout hours do they have? Whatever meetings they have that is not office meeting, hang out with them. That's how you do a relationship with them. Whatever they do out of office or job related, hang out with them. So that's how you develop a relationship with people. With people. Okay. Thank you all so much. I see more people joining up before we continue. Very good. Thank you. If you like, just say loud and clear. Very good. Thank you. I see Taiwo from uh, Nigeria. Thank you, Taiwo, for joining us. And I see, okay, Linky, you said they can hear me. Matthew, great to be here. Matthew from Nigeria. Thank you, Matthew, for being here. I hope you are doing good today, Matthew. Thank you. Anani from Virginia. Thank you, Anani, for joining us. Yeah, we're discussing today on the topic um, how to avoid layoffs. Okay. We know there's a lot of layoffs everywhere, but not in some tech areas. There's some, there's, there are uh, strategies, strategies to find tech jobs. So tech companies are not going to lay off. I'll have the list of them for you. So you have to stay tight because I have a list and different industries that are not laying off and the company's names that are not laying off. I have tons of them. I'm going to go over them. So stay tight so you can have the list. Stay tight so you can have the list and share with others so that they can also learn. We're looking at how to avoid layoffs and i'm giving you strategy and tips that you must have under your belt to stay in the organization even if the organization is laying enough how do you stay above this before being cut off and i first when i said is that you have to stay current with new technologies and skills very important make yourself valuable let them feel that you are of value and also Network with colleagues and industry industry professional. Build relationship with your company and industry. Very important. Very, very important. Though I've covered those two. So the next thing I'm going to cover is that you have to be proactive in your job. Very, very important. You have to be proactive in your job. 
take initiative to solve problems and create new opportunities. Don't just sit down. Don't just say, oh, well, until they tell me to do something, I'm not going to do it. Mm -mm. You know, if you see something that needs to be done, tell them, oh, we have not done this. I think we should do this. I think we should do that. And be the first one to jump at it and do it. Let them feel like, wow, this person is always proactive. Is always trying to, she's always trying to help. She's always rendering helping hand. Take initiative to solve problems. Find problems and say, okay, we need to solve this one. And create opportunities uh, for them. So then I will give you an example of what happened. Many years ago, um, I was working for a tech company. And then this tech company, they had a project. And the project is for one of their very big clients. The, comp the project is to work on um, Microsoft um, Access, Microsoft Access development to develop a new app with Microsoft Access. We should use in Visual Basic, VBA. Nobody want to do it. Every developer that I want to do is ASP.NET because that's what we're doing. Uh, no ASP, classic ASP, and then ASP.NET, and that I be was SQL Server. Nobody wants to do or an Oracle. Nobody want to do this um, other one. So I was, I take initiative and I said I would do it. And I, 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 you know, it, there's a little, it's a little different. But I took it and I learned what I need to learn, whatever I need to do, I get it done. Do you believe that? After that's done, the company was able to win more contract because nobody was going to do it. Nobody won it. <laughs> After I finished, they won more contract, more contract for that, for the company. And I did that. And I also have to help them hire new person that actually came to do the other new contract. Then. And your pay is not changing. It's the same payment. It's just that it's the different learning curve. Well, I enjoyed it. And see, today, actually, the, the customer gave me an award for doing that for them. I was able to win more contracts for the company. And I see, I'm still in touch with the customers here today, even though they are all retired now. But they still kind of, you know, they still really appreciate it, and they can always remember how I helped them. So be proactive in your job. Take initiative and create opportunities. This is what I've done before. And you can do it too. Don't be like rigid, like, I can't do that. I didn't come here for that. And to start speaking all this grammar. No, help. Come down from your high <laughs> attitude and come down. Help. Help the organization. Let them feel your value. Okay, let them feel your value. Even till today, when I go to that organization, they still, that's many, many years ago. That's my early career in, in tech in here in Washington, D.C. I go there now. They still really value me being there. They still recognize it because they know the impact. Even my manager then, I'm still in touch with her till today. On link, even on LinkedIn, she's still there. You know, after she had retired and all of that. So it's very, very, very important that let people feel your impact, that you are helpful. So also be open to learning new skills and taking on new roles, new skills. New skill like the one, the VBA, the one I said, it was, it was, it was kind of new because I've not done it in access environment before, right? But I know there's a learning curve. I will learn it. They don't ask me to come and deliver right now. I know it's not, it's not um, convenient, right? But hey, I have time to do it. I have to probably have to do that time. We don't even have internet. So I can't go and copy any code on the internet. We we'll have to write my code from scratch. And I'll just probably have to have a book, look through the book and use it to write my own code, that's all. And I write the code step by step and it worked. Once you write the code, you can always use it in the other area. So even though we're not talking about coding here, but what I'm saying is that whatever it needs to be done, do it. New skills, taking on new role. If you're a cyber security analyst, New skills might be, oh, we are trying to, we are working on the risk management framework, but we have a customer that needs us to work on something with the ISO framework. 
you'll be like, okay, I don't know. I know I saw a beat, but I can take it on the initiative. Because once you know risk management framework, you can do any other framework. And that is why on in our my university right here, we mentor you into other framework. We mentor you into um into like nine frameworks for the price of one. So remember that when you are always think are above and uh, you know out of the box, put be open to learn new skills and take new roles, new responsibility. They might say, oh, we need somebody to do this. We need somebody to do that. Be ready to take the opportunity. Don't wait and say, oh, let somebody else do it. I didn't come here for that. Okay, don't be too comf com comfortable. Don't be too comfortable. Don't only take things that are convenient for you. Very important. That makes you to stay away from layoffs. Because your boss may not say anything, but they already know that you are very rigid and you don't want to budge or help. You'll be the first people to be leaving when they want to lay off. Be versatile and adaptable can help you stay relevant and valuable to your company. Like I said, be versatile, be adaptable. Let them know that ah, this person, if not because of this person, will never achieve anything, will never go to the next level. Okay? Be versatile, be adaptable. That's very important. And also, seek out um, a stable company. That's the key there. When you're looking for a job, there are companies that are always hiring. Let me know if you have any question, okay? And if you agree with what I'm saying, you've seen it a lot, you know, feel free to, to let me know. Tomika, good morning. How are you doing? Thank you for joining. I know that. Thank you, Odette. Welcome. Yeah, thank you all so very much. Make sure you share with others. Let them know that we are here live. And if you are trying to break into tech, make sure you let them know. They can schedule a call with me. If you are new, just join them for the first time. So this is the link to schedule a call. Make sure you let them know this is the link to schedule a call, okay? You can schedule a call with me and I will help you break into tech. And the link, I'm just really gonna leave the link here too. So you can see that my IT university is right here, okay? So you pretty much can click on that link wherever you see it. And then just use it to schedule a call. It's free discovery call. Don't have to pay anything to schedule a call so I can help you discuss with you how you can break in into tech. Very important. Okay, the link is scrolling. You can follow that link to schedule a call. And if you've been trained, but you are laid off, you can reach out to me. I can help you get back in. You know, and another good thing is that even now you are laid off, <clears throat> this is a time for you to uh, start looking at all those skills, all those training that you've been trying to do, but you don't have the time because of your job. This is time for you now to quickly, what, go for those training programs so you can get in back, get back in with very, with better pay. I see people doing that now going back with better pay, even though they are layoff now, but now they are going back with better pay. So schedule a call, get trained. You can get back in fast with good pay, okay? So think about it. Don't wait, 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 wait again. No need for that. You can go back with double pay, okay? Your skills will make a way for you, okay? So seek out stable company, a company that is growing and expanding. Some company are dead end. They're dead end company, okay? I say like high tech. <coughs> high tech is, excuse me, high tech is about the end of many parts. I'm going to break those things down for you. That's why I said stay tight. I'm not going to waste your time today. Just stay tight. And we're going to quickly go over some things and we'll finish maybe in the next 10 minutes or so. Just stay tight, okay? High tech jobs. What are high tech jobs? What are the high tech? What kind of high tech job? 
because there are some ISEC jobs that lay people off. Non-social media, there are social media jobs, social media platform jobs, and non-product companies. Those are the ones that you want. To, you don't want to go for social media companies. You don't want to go for product company. <coughs> social media company, these are the ones that are laying people up. I'm not going to mention any company's name. But look very well. Look deep. You will notice that the company that laying people for off is either their social media company that deal with the social media or the one that deals with product that have a particular product they are selling. And where are they laying people off is that they lay people off because their product may not be selling because of recession. And when their product is not selling, the first thing they would do is to start sending people away. Because their, their, their revenue is based on that product. And when people are not buying their product, what, what else will happen? What will happen? How many times have you bought a lot of fun, fanciful phone for yourself in the last year? In last year? How many times have you bought two iPads one time? Tell me. How many times have you bought some special software that you use at home? When you see software company laying people off, when you see product coming laying people off, then you ask me why. Because you are not buying stuff. Because you're trying to save money. That's why they're laying you all people off. How many times have you advertised on social media? Those companies that lay people off. How many times have you advertised with them? So that's why they're laying off because they don't have enough revenue anymore. See? So that is why they have to. That's how they can keep their money. Okay? So you see why now. <clears throat> but what kind of companies do you now look out for? If you agree with what I'm saying, let me give me a yes. Okay, so let's see. I think a couple of us are leaving information. The link is on the chat. Thank you, um, Uzbong, for that. The link is on the chat. So anybody's asking? Yeah, I put the link on the chat and I also put the link on the scrolling down here. And uh, Ebenezer is asking, where is the link? It's there. Okay. So schedule a call with me, Ebenezer. Thank you so much, Matthew. I trust you. Very good. Uh, Matthew said to bring it to test. Schedule a free call with Professor Temi on this. Thank you, Matthew. Matthew put it up. So see that. And others say, yes, very good. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate you. So uh, Ebenezer, schedule a call with me. So, so you see? So the kind of company that you want to um, look for a job in, they are government support companies, okay? Government support companies, healthcare or corporations, organization, financial organization. I'm gonna already have did the research for you. I have their names. I have their names <clears throat> and I'm gonna share them. We'll talk about government support companies. All these companies, right? Lockheed Martins. Lockheed Martins, Boeing, Raytheon Technology, General Dynamics, Noto Groman, Honeywell, LT, L3, Iris, United and Technology, BAE System, and so on and so forth. These are the for the first, foremost, Fortune 500 defense support tech companies. These ones, they are not going anywhere. You can Google them, you can find them. They are going nowhere, they have all the money, they don't make noise, you don't hear their names. It's, it's, if it's only when you are in tech you hear their names. If you are new to tech, you will never hear these companies' names. They do not advertise. Most of the time, they don't even put their information on LinkedIn, on Indeed. They are on LinkedIn now, but you may not even know. So you sometimes when you want to find a job in this company, you go to their website to find jobs. You put your resume on their website. You understand? That's what you have to do. You have to make sure you go to this. You can take a snapshot. Go to their website and put your resume there on their job board and always check their job board, okay? I was able to work a lot for these tech companies 
all in, in, in the life, you know, like Notro. I worked for Notro for like many years, you know. General Dynamics, I support a lot of their project, you know. I work for um, some of them, and not some more ones are not here. I will partner with some of them also on contracts and stuff. So I was able to work with a lot of them. They are going nowhere. They have a lot of jobs, and not only defense. When they work with defense, you know, they work with every other institutions or corporations or private companies. They have a lot of contracts. These are companies you want to 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 follow. We have Unisys. I can't have all of them here. Hmm? We have Accenture. We have Lidos. We have Deloitte. They are not here, but these are the toppest, the top ones. Okay? Make sure you take a snapshot and do research. You've never heard of them before. Okay? In addition to that, we have... Um, Healthcare organization, it, the top ones, <clears throat> the top healthcare organization that are the top Fortune 500, United Healthcare Group, we have CVS Health, Walgreens, you might be thinking, Walgreens, is Walgreens just not a uh, medication, whatever? Oh no, they have tech side too, all this organization, okay? So check them out, check them out. They are all available. They are always looking for tech people. Okay, give me a feedback. Are you are you following me? Are you agreeing? Very good. Um, okay, if you have questions, leave your questions. Licking user said, is saying, I agree. I work for a few of them, including SIC, Lidos, and Mantech. You see? So you, LinkedIn user is agreeing with me that he work for them, that he knows what I'm saying. She or he, he or she knows. See, these people are not going to lay nobody off. They have the money, guys. So you need to look out for them. Very, very important. Okay. So let's continue. We are, also have some in the area of healthcare. Um, in the area of uh, financial financial institutions like J.P. Morgan Chase and Co., like Berkshire, like West Fargo, Bank of America, Citigroup, these are the Fortune 500 in the financial institution. America Express, State Farm, all states. Okay, so just look through this. These are the top ones. They are always looking. They are always hiring. They have the money. They make top revenue. Okay? They make top revenue. These are the kind of company you want to work for. They are not laying off like this other company that I'm not going to mention their names. <laughs> I don't want to. Right. You know? So don't... These are the ones you want to focus on if you've never heard of their name before. So they are mid-sized... Mid size, big, these are big corporations, institutions, and they are also uh, small size that are that have money getting started. Started, you just have to do your research and know what kind of company they are. You want to ask them, How long have you been, guys? How long have you guys been in you know working? How long have you guys been established? and stuff like that. And you want to do your research and find out, you know. What kind of revenue they made last year? You just want to find out you're in a safe hand, you know. So all those things you have to do. Okay. So very important. So that's how you're gonna. That's what you're gonna do. We're discussing about how to avoid layoffs by looking for jobs in the right places. By when you work for this company, you stay in. You want to keep it, and you want to have relationship. And even if you're looking for a job, go on 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 LinkedIn. Find engineers that work in this company that I mentioned. Create a relationship with them and ask them if they, after some time, ask them if they have openings. You want to network with these kind of people that work for these good companies that are in your field so that you can network with them and create a relationship with them on social media. That's why you're on social media. You are not on social media to just gist. You are on there to network. You, are so, you should be on social media either Number one should be for your career. 
for business or for fun. But first, foremost, is for the first two, career, business, or you are there for friendship. Not friendship first. Even though you don't want to, it to look like you are there for career, you befriend them, but you not turn it around because it's for the other way, so that you at least you can better them be people in your career, you know, similar career, so you can mutually be mutually beneficial. And I've always thought us, how do you network with people that you don't know? <coughs> I've had that, I've did that discussion before. So if you've not listened, go on my YouTube and listen, watch out for networking. How do you network for jobs? It's there. Okay? Very important. So if you have any questions, you can ask them. We're going to be rounding up. And if you like to ask, how many GRC2 will you advise to learn? Or oh, no? Well, as a cross analyst, I don't know. That your question is very vague. <laughs> How many? You see, you learn based on your job role. Whenever you, are, you you learn the basic ones, okay? You learn the basic ones that we learn in class. I know you're my student. And um, you learn some some framework. We know we learn like nine framework for, the, for one price. And those are enough. But when, now when you go for interviews, as soon as you see your job description, you prep towards that job description. You say, dear, I you can't know everything. So that's it. That's what you should do. And that's the best way to go about it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So there are courses that are very recession proof. We have like cyber security. It's very recession. They are doing, I even read an article this morning saying that they don't have enough people. The recruiters are trying to train themselves how to recruit for cyber security analysts or cyber security engineers because they don't have enough and they don't know how to hire them. So they're having issues hiring them and they were advising, that article was advising the uh, recruiters that they should be more clear on their uh, on their job description so that they can find the right candidate because the candidates, you know, are finding it overwhelming when you have for so much things that you don't need for the role, they may not apply. Because they are saying they can't find people. So there's a lot of openings in cybersecurity. In Scrum, there's a lot of openings also in Scrum. What we say, Scrum Master, please add on under your belt product owner classes, courses. Product owner courses is an emerging area that need a lot of people. So if you're a Scrum Master, you're out there, you don't have a job. Go for product owner uh, openings. Very important. I cannot stress that enough. I cannot stress that enough. Please. All my Scrum Masters, even if you are working or just trying to get in, add on that your belt, product owner. We have a product owner class starting next week, Saturday. Not this other day, but next week on the 4th of um. February on Saturday. It's going to be from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern time. Jump on that and do that four weeks course to add on to your Scrum Master. And if you want to do things relating to like business analysis, project management, but you want to finish fast and get a job within one month, do the product owner. Add it on. Very important. Okay. Project management, business analysis, data analysis, cloud, software tester, QA, technical writer, all those things, all those areas, they are recession proof and they are non coding. You know, I'm an advocate of non coding tech. And you'll be asking me why. But, President, you started off as a software engineer. Why are you not pushing that? Because what I'm advocating for is what people can get a job fast. You know, I was trained in college to be a software engineer. So I have a lot of time to learn the skill at the college. Even though I had to actually go for boot camp like this myself. Whatever I learned in college is not deep enough. You know, but the short time people want to get a job, you will not, it will not be enough for you to learn coding and be able to coach. 
front end, back end, I don't think so. It's not going to happen. So you don't have enough. And most times, you know, somebody needs to babysit you. But nobody is ready to babysit people at this day. So these are the courses that you can do and eat the ground running without no much stress. These are the ones. It's, they are easier. And you can make as much money as the developers are making. Programmers are making. Database admins are making. So that's why I always say start with these ones. When you get in, you can add all other ones to it, okay? Okay, so connect with me. If you have any question, uh, let's connect. I'm on LinkedIn. This is my LinkedIn handle, okay? Uh, LinkedIn.com slash IN slash TRKWOMI. That's my name. Let's connect, okay? Let me know if you're interested in any of our programs. I will help you breaking it to them, okay? And you can send me an email, support at mightyuniversity.com. Okay, send me an email if you have any question. Also, follow me on all social media platform. I'm my itunversity.com. I'm on, we're on do all the different social media platforms that you might be. Look out for us. Look out for Prof. Timmy. You will also see me. Okay, if you're on our LinkedIn profile, make sure you pros, uh, just subscribe. Subscribe on our, on, on our channel. I promise you, we always help you. We coach you. We don't only coach you, we mentor you. We you network in our community and we give you community support. So it's a lifetime support here. If you join us, it's a lifetime support. We support you, we mentor you, we coach you, we help you break in into tech. Very important. So uh, thank you so very much for, for your time and for being here today. We also meet on social media platform like on um, on Clubhouse. If you never been on Clubhouse, you can download the Clubhouse app and follow us on Clubhouse. You will never regret it because we're always on Clubhouse every Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays. If you're on Clubhouse, have never followed us. Look out for Prof. Timmy. Look out for my university on Clubhouse, and you will really enjoy it. Okay, you will really enjoy it. So thank you very much for, for your time today. Don't procrastinate. Don't delay. Join us. Schedule a call. That's how it starts. The first thing you have to do is schedule a call with me. When you schedule a call with me, I will talk with you. I will guide you, let you know exactly what area of tech you can break into. And we go from there. Okay? So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah. Okay. Great, thank you. Thank you, LinkedIn. You said great. So LinkedIn, yes, Chrome activity, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, Matthew sent something, a link to the post, one of our posts. <coughs> thank you very much for putting that there, Matthew. Olaide, thank you. Thank you, Prof. Tim. Thank you, Olaide. Thank you, LinkedIn. You said thank you, everybody. Please, please, this is a great session. Thank you. I want you all to make sure that you share this on your platform. Let's all share this on our platform so other people can also get to see it and they can learn from this, okay? I don't know where you are joining me from, but I appreciate your time. So thank you so much for being here. So like I said, don't delay. Don't procrastinate. Do you believe that it's already January 25th? Five, five days and we are done with the first year, first month of the year. It's gone. It's gone. It's not coming back. It's gone. It's gone again. So what are you going to do this year? What are you going to do this year? Hmm? What are you going to do this year? Thank you so much. You see, Matthew is sharing, you know, with the, the one I talk about, product owner. You know, are you as far as Chrome Master, product owner, Chrome Master, project manager, do you want to break into non-coding tech? Jump off to me in this training. More details are this. So click on this link on there, and you can join the product owner class for Scrum Masters. Even if you, even though if you are not a Scrum Master, but you want a quick turnaround to get in. Quick turnaround to get in, and uh, you can always do the Scrum Master. I mean, the product owner class. 
is we're going to start on uh, March 4th. Okay? Schedule a call. Click on that link. You know, join the class. You want to be able to join this program. It's very good. It's just four weeks. Four weeks, that's all. And then you can always go from there. Okay? Thank you, Matthew. I really appreciate it. So thank you all so very much for your time. Really appreciative of you being here. I look forward to seeing you on Clubhouse. We're going to be meeting tonight. Go on, a, go on our YouTube channel. I have, we probably have like 90 something videos on there. That's almost 100. Very soon will be 100. Make sure you go and listen to all of them. Those are all career inclined. Anything you see on my net network should be about your career. There's tons and tons and tons of stuff there. Go and watch them and share with others. Those will answer your question. We'll be coming back next week um, to discuss more about your career. We'll be looking at uh, your LinkedIn profile. I have things on LinkedIn. I have things on about your resume and all of that. But we're coming back with more topics that will really help you get the job, keep it, and grow on it. So we're going to be looking at those things that you need to do, need to know. Very important. Okay? We're coming back with them. So make sure. So thank you all very much for your time. Yes, I'm really grateful. Thank you as well. Uh, Remigus, thank you so much as well. So thank you, guys. I love you. I appreciate you being here with me today. And um, this is Professor Temi with my IT University. We have discussed today on breaking to tech, how to avoid layoffs. And we've laid a lot of very important uh, topics we've discussed. So let share with others so that if they are in any organization they have to look out for themselves how do they do that and also what are the things they need to do so they can keep their job it's very important and uh franca ibuzo from nigeria thank you for joining us make sure that you um listen if you are just running up make sure that you go back and listen again and again okay to our discussion so that you will not miss anything so i thank you all for being here i appreciate your time and i say god bless you have a lovely evening or morning or afternoon wherever you are joining us from and remember to join the classes that we discuss okay it's right there so thank you Matthew, and thank you everybody else so see you all around and until next time, we will come back again next week to discuss. I'm just faithfully, Professor Temi Akimumi with my IT University. We have discussed today on how to avoid layoffs. That's my name, Professor Temi Akimumi. So I'll be seeing you around. Subscribe on our YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram and on, on LinkedIn. Okay. And we'll be seeing you thank you if you have any topic that you want me to share feel free to send it to me and if you're trying to break into cyber security we have courses starting every month we have a course that started yesterday okay if you want to do evening courses we have courses that started yesterday so you can easily join those courses we have um you know evening courses we have weekend courses for courses that are starting in march we already have pipeline for it send and reach out to me don't wait there's no need to wait because there are programs that's always going on there are opportunity incentive that I always have available so when we reach out to you we can take advantage of those opportunity and um yeah thank you thank you so much Matthew. i really appreciate you much still putting listen to the training of professor Timmy on youtube so these are my youtube channel link okay that's my youtube channel in the matthew Put up here. Make sure you click on it. You can use that to follow me on YouTube. Matthew, you know, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, Bila, yes, thank you, Prof. Timmy. Thank you, Bilaja. Thank you, everybody. Love you all and appreciate you all. I wish you all a wonderful uh, rest of your week and rest of your day. So, you all take care. G uh, JD, thank you as well. JD, thank you. I uh, thank you all so much. I really, really value you all. I appreciate you. I wish you a wonderful tech career, tech job and uh, a good week. Thank you and God bless you. Love you all. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Love you all.